name is Nana Otio Strabo. I was installed as a paramount chief of the Gabin traditional area in August 1971. Therefore, in 2011, I celebrated the 40th anniversary of my installation. A ceremony which was attended by top uh, government officials, people from the clergy, academia, and massive turnout of the people of Gabin. Oh, it's just a matter of leading uh, the people and putting programs and ideas across and, you know, effectively implementing them to ensure that the people are well served and they are able to realize their potential and talents from, from your program. In the process, you have to ensure that your programs are synonymous with their aspirations and therefore it makes it very easy for them to identify with whatever that you propose. Yes, as I said, uh, I was installed in 1971, and at that time there was no banking facility for the people of Gabin. They had to travel several miles to uh, have access to banking facilities. And over the years, uh, the people's commercial appetite had been whetted. They had become more enterprising in terms of trading, in terms of uh, farming in terms of other activities, which therefore needed a very active financial intervention. And seeing them travel over long distances, you know, really did not accord with my uh, vision of ensuring that my people had the best of facilities right at their doorstep. Therefore, I approached the Bank of Ghana with a view to having a rural bank established in Gabin, and uh, they did approve of my request. No, not at all, because you see, an engineer, they say, is somebody who can do for a penny what any other person would do for a pound. So economics is part of engineering. And a good engineer is the person who uh, is very much, or who is acutely aware of the economic environment in which he operates. So going into finance or banking was not a novelty at all. thought of it as having to establish a rural bank which will not serve only uh, the people of Gabi but its environs and it could then uh, be brought up in such a way that it would rank among the best rural banks in, in, in Ashanti and for that matter in Ghana and also to create jobs, uh, help people with uh, you know loans, uh, with overdrafts you know, just gen generally to make sure people add the benefit of a banking service which would, you know, make sure that they 
also uh, could turn over money quickly and make a profit in the process. You know, at the time that we were establishing the bank, the Bank of Ghana's directive was that no one person should have shares beyond a certain limit. And the uh, idea was to collect shares from among the people to use that as a base for the operation. So I had to travel from village to village, from hamlet to hamlet, uh, to canvas people to subscribe to shares. And the difficulty was that that was a, a novel idea. They, they were not used to you know, pulling monies together and uh, going the modern financial way. So it took a lot of uh, explanation. But I'm, I'm happy to uh, comment that uh, they took kindly to the uh, proposal and the shares were very well subscribed. A sense of elation, a sense of pride, of course tempered with humility that there's still a lot to be done and if we uh, do apply ourselves diligently as we have been doing in the past, uh, the sky may be the limit. to be there as their spiritual mentor, to be there to offer advice, to be there to uh, uh, ensure that the people who are leading the bank uh, go along with the best practices and with the best management techniques so as to uh, ensure the continued growth of the bank. I think my advice would be that you can only develop when we work hard uh, and working hard will mean using the facilities and the resources that are available to us, the land, the people, the, uh, you know, going back to the roots, going back to consider farming as a very serious vocation which will ensure uh, rapid growth ensure food security and will ensure job creation and job opportunities. Oh, that nothing comes easy. You, you don't expect that you could, you know, wish for the moon and the moon will come to you. You have to apply yourself, you have to work hard, you have to be diligent, you have to be conscientious, you have to be, um, to be humble enough to accept that people are better than you, just as you are also better than others. But in all, it's, it's a matter of working hard, having a, an aim and applying yourself to the aim. Uh, there may be pitfalls, you know, ups and downs, moonshine and uh, darkness, but in the process, if you do persevere, uh, success will crown your effort.